a correctional officer was just doing her normal rounds when a gut feeling told her she needed to go check back on an inmate and it ended up saving a life. CO April Kutserik has only been on the job just over a year, but her Tuesday night shift is one she will never forget nor wants to repeat. It all started with her regular 15 minute checks on inmates. I checked the button that she was sleeping. I came out here, reset the timers, and I'm like, I know I'm gonna upset her, but I wanna wake her up and just touch base with her, talk with her, make sure she's doing okay because she is sleeping on the floor. And I just, how are you feeling? Just anything. Though the next check wasn't for another 15 minutes, she knew she had to listen to her gut and went back to the inmate two minutes later. When I pulled the blanket off is when I saw that she had already attempted. Um, she was stiff and blue and had tied something around her neck and was not responsive to us. April immediately called for backup. And she started gasping for air and taking shallow breaths and slowly color started coming back into her face and like I said we had EMS already rolling immediately. They were there a couple minutes after the initial call. Suicides at the jail aren't new. Back in August of 2018, a fifth inmate took his life at the jail within two years. And several other attempts have been made since. You say, if it gets worse, will you tell someone or not? And there is no way to make someone do that. Marie Richards is the mental health provider for the jail. Her position came after the fifth suicide. If someone is feeling suicidal, and is wanting to make a suicide attempt, then we put them on a suicide watch and we put them in a holding cell. Eventually, once she's cleared to come back to custody, um, what will happen is um, Marie will, will meet with her, determine if there is any type of uh, extra watch that needs to be, does this inmate need to be on a mental health watch. As for April, even though she's being considered a hero, she says it's just her job. Everybody in here also has a loved one at home, somebody that cares about them, and the reasons they're in here don't matter. They're in here as a punishment. It's not my job to punish further. It's my job to take care of them, and that's exactly what everybody did that night. Sheriff Becker says he plans on adding another mental health provider for the Wood County Jail starting next month. In Wood County, Victoria Saha, News 9 WAOW.